Dana Abercrombie, The Coalition, thank you so much for doing this. Season three, there was so much tension um, that you guys built just naturally. And I was wondering, there's also a fear that the truth will be known and the fear from the cult returning. I was wondering, how are you able, both as both the characters and as actors, balance keeping that tension in there with also trying to put a facade of everything as being okay and light? Yeah, I mean, it's a good question because that's, you know, for Sean, the journey is everything's okay. I think this is a very, uh, you know, sobering season, you know, where we all have to make bigger decisions than than we'd like to, you know, and we're still not really edging towards the truth of the situation, which is we should just be talking about the tragedy. But again, come up with a new philosophy. Okay, so uh, if this is all magic and, and, and uh, if I turn around 10 times and then nod my head, maybe the baby will stay. Sean's lost in a world of superstition now. And, uh, you know, it's 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 more tragedy in, in a way. Um, but yeah, for Are me, you? that's it. We're pretty yeah, I mean, for me, I think um, the most interesting thing about this season with Julian, I think now that he is in recovery and mm -hmm. sober and clear-headed, he's forced to, like, face the guilt that he's kind of carried since the, uh, since the event. And, um, and without all of his kind of devices to, to deflect that with the kind of alcohol and his kind of sarcasm and stuff, it, it, He's, he's someone who kind of relies heavily on that um, to cope. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting kind of working out who he was without that. Um, I think kind of I was dependent on that as much as Julian was as well. So it was, it, it was interesting kind of working out who he is beyond it. And, um, yeah, that's – I mean, yeah, and also kind of having the chance to step out of the house this time as well and see the world outside of that kind of small space. Um, was, yeah, kind of really new. For both characters, do you also have this wondering of what's going to come back, what kind of payback might come back for both of you? Do you feel that for season three, there is sort of a redemption for both characters? I think that's what uh, Sean's hoping is that he can redeem himself because really underlying the character of Sean is that he's angry himself and waiting to hear the anger uh, from Dorothy about, you know, leaving when she needed him most, when she was tired and a new mother and didn't have any help yet and was just struggling through. And Sean decided to, to whip off and pursue a career. Um, so I think there's, there's always that. Uh, I think he thinks he's redeeming himself by, believing more in higher power and, and superstitious behaviors. Um, but really, yeah, he's not, sadly. But for you, Rupert? Yeah, um, and I think for Julian, it's, <clears throat> he, he can't really, he's, he's, he's very, he's a real kind of devout atheist. He rejects any kind of form of this, this supernatural thing and, and the idea that it's some kind of divine force kind of acting upon this family is something you just can't fathom and kind of defiantly refuses. So, yeah, I mean, in, in, in this season, I think we see him take a much more proactive kind of look at trying to investigate a rational explanation for everything and work out what the hell is going on. Because, <laughs> yeah, there must, there must be a reason. There must be some explanation for this. Um, so, yeah, it's, it, it's fun to kind of see him explore that more um, and yeah, well, I can't say a lot more, but the, yeah, he, he, things are discovered. So it's, he, yeah, it's a lot of fun to, to, to delve into that part of it as well. Understood. Thank you both. I love the show. I look thank forward you. to more. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays.